Here's what you missed this week on Inside the Jungle. There's going to be a lot of talk today, tomorrow, the week, throughout the week about the quarterback position. Uh, I'm going to have Andy Dalton's back today. You, you know, you could talk about the fumble. The fumble did not lose the game for them today, folks. Andy Dalton finishes today 21 of 29 for 300 yards, two touchdown passes. The Monday Report. And if I would have told you that A.J. Green would have caught 11 balls for 223 yards, you'd think that you'd take your chances that the Bengals would win that football game. Well, it didn't happen. Why? Because the defense was a sieve. They couldn't tackle. They couldn't get off the field. That was the story of the game. The game actually was one on third down. The Pittsburgh Steelers finished the day 8 of 16 on third down. The Bengals were 3 of 11. So when you can't convert third downs and extend drives, and when you can't get off the field on defense, that's a recipe for disaster. Media Day Tuesday. But he'd made a lot of great throws. I mean, as he didn't throw any picks. He, he threw long bombs right on target to A.J. Green. He made a lot of plays. And granted, they need a little bit more from him at that point. But to, to, to say that that fumble... Listen, it's not as much about the fumble. It is about the fumble. That's a big part, but it's about the response to it. Opponent's corner. What exactly happened, and and why did the Browns come up a point short? Uh, It's one reason. It's Brian Hoyer. And, you know, it's hard for me to say that. It's hard for a lot of the Cleveland fan base to say that, Nick, but... You know, the hometown kid who has done and said all the right things, who has come back from that knee injury and has a winning record as a starter, but recently has just, it's been awful. Inside the jungle, simply the best.